Today, we're going to start by talking about the enemy of excellent. Before we jump into that, though, I'm going to quote the greatest race car driver of all time, the fastest man on four wheels, Ricky Bobby. And basically, Ricky says this, I'm the best there is, plain and simple. When I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Now, some people might say, well, hey, Ricky, that's a lot of ego. That's a lot of boisterism, which is probably not even a word. That's a little radical for me. Like, I don't, I don't think I want to walk around talking about piss and excellence and being that kind of guy. But what you've got to understand about that is this. If you're not thinking of yourself as excellence, if you're not having thoughts of how do I show up in the world in the most excellent version of myself, then you're missing the boat. You're not going to get the life that you truly deserve and desire. And today's episode is all about helping you understand that you've got to create a life of excellence. But there's two pitfalls that are going to get in your way. There's two things that are in the way of you having an excellent life right now. Some of you are already pausing and be like, wait a minute, bro. Like, what do you mean excellent? Like, that's, that seems like the highest of the high, the top of the mountain, the tip of the iceberg. And maybe it is, but isn't that where you want to be? And I'm going to explain this to you as we go along of why that's got to be, that's got to be your marker. That's got to be your, your point of emphasis. That's got to be what you strive for. And there's two things that are getting in your way. Number one is the word good. The idea that good is good enough could not be further from the truth. When I think of the word good, I think of the bottom of the barrel. I think of the, the lowest that I could possibly be. If somebody says, oh, that, you did a good job. It means I just, I just did, I just showed up. Like that's not going to be good enough. I don't care what area of my life that is. Good is not going to be good enough. Good nutrition is not going to give me the excellent body that I desire. Good money is not going to give me the wealth that I desire. Good relationships probably really suck. You, you know what I'm talking about? Good faith is probably no faith at all or intermittent faith. That's what I think about good. Good is intermittent. Good is from time to time. Good is pockets of okay. Good is good enough. Like that's the worst statement I could ever hear. Well, hey, that's good enough. It's not good enough. You can do better. You can be better. You can be more. You can do more. You can have more. But if you're stuck on looking for good, that's all you're going to get. And I hate to break this to you, but good is no longer good enough. When somebody says it is what it is, they're, they're, they're accepting a quote, unquote, good life. But it's probably not even good. They just tell themselves it's good because telling yourself your life is shitty or telling yourself your life isn't what you want it to be, that's hard to do. That's painful. So you settle for good. And the next thing that's in your way is great. I hate to break this to you, but great is now average. And being average isn't going to get you the life you desire. It's not going to get you the life you deserve. Great is no longer anything. Great is average. I want you to think about average for a second. If you drew, you drew a line down the middle of a piece of paper, that's average. Look at that line now. It's the same distance to the top, which is excellence, and the bottom, which is good. So why on earth, first and foremost, would you want to stay there in the middle, but why wouldn't you want to go for excellence? Why would you ever want to down-regulate your life down to that good level where good is simply good enough? 